What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? This week, we're doing the first of a new run of peppers that I got from the boys over at Herbberry Farms. Um, this one here is called the Leviathan Gnarled Scorpion. That's a bit of a tongue twister to say. I had to retake this a few times. And uh, this was grown by Justin White. Justin White. My last two videos I screwed up trying to get his name right. The first one I called him Jimmy Smith. And then I had to edit it with the audio from the second video where I called him Justin Smith. I edited it and it was still wrong. So I apologize, Justin White. This is a product of Justin White. The Leviathan, Gnarled Scorpion. I got your name right, Justin White. Okay, let's stop saying that now. Anyways, this was given to me by Drew and Steve, and um, I'm not sure what this is going to be like. It looks scary as hell. The color is frightening. It's bumpy. It's wrinkled. It looks like something from hell. So I think this is going to be one of the most interesting peppers I've ever tried to date. Uh, before we do that, though, make sure that everybody knows to subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And comment if you got something to say. I want to hear from everybody. As you notice, I like every post to me, and I heart every post, and I reply to every post because I appreciate every single one of you, and uh, I love talking to all of you. I love hearing what you guys got to say. So, um, yeah, we're going to get right down to this, but before we do, I'd like to dedicate this pepper to a couple of big fights tonight. Uh, first of all, UFC is happening tonight in Madison Square Garden. Uh, there is no championship fight for the main event tonight, but they do have a special belt for tonight. It is the BMF belt, and the champ approves of it because it means bad mother effort for the PG channel here. And uh, I like it. It's a couple of gangster fighters to bring it, and uh, Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz. You know, these guys are known for what they do. Nate's destroyed Connor. Nate should have beat him the second time. Uh, you know, Nate's a very accomplished fighter. And Masvidal's got some incredible wins, including the, you know, the quick two-second knockout of Ben Askren just a few months ago. Um, so, you know, to have a special event where <laughs> someone's going to be crowned the baddest mother effort. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. I like that fight. I don't know who I'm picking. I'm just going to enjoy it. The other fight I want to dedicate this pepper to tonight it's Canelo Alvarez versus Sergey Kovalev. Kovalev is a great fighter. He's been around for a long time. Uh, I think this fight's going to be an interesting fight because Alvarez is moving up to light heavyweight. I believe that's what they're doing at that. And, uh, you know, he hasn't fought there before. Kovalev is a dangerous fighter who was very dangerous in the past. After he, uh, he lost to... Uh, um, oh, God, what's the guy's name? Not, I can't I can't remember it at the moment, <laughs> but when he lost to him a couple times, um, uh, he, he seemed like a different fighter, especially in the second fight where he got beaten down and the fight was really taken from him. You know, that, that, that seemed like a turning point in his career, even though the last few fights he's done much better. Um, I don't see Kovalev beating Canelo, even though he is a larger man. I think Canelo's too quick. I think Canelo's too dangerous. Canelo's one of those fighters, and uh, I knew that about him the first time I saw him fight. Uh, it was about, I think, eight years ago when he was 20, 21. Um, I knew Canelo was an amazing fighter the first time I saw him fight. And I've looked forward to every one of his fights since then. It's always like he's been a superstar. He's a great fighter, he's a great champion, and he's going to beat Sergey Kovalev. That I can tell you. Anyways, now that the boxing talk's out of the way... Let's cut this thing open, and let's see what it looks like inside. So we're going to pull out the uh, stem real quick, or whatever you call that. And we're going to slice it right down the middle. Oh, boy. And if you look at that knife, yep, there's some juice or oil, or whatever you want to call it. And there's a dog barking. That's Anderson. Anderson, please be quiet. Um, so yeah, this is some oil on there. Nothing unusual. Okay. Moment of truth. You, oh. Oh, crap. I just touched my finger with it. Um. 
That's a pretty mean looking pepper. Uh, there's not a ton of seeds. I heard that about these. Um, but, I mean, there's placenta running top to bottom and there's a good skin of it up the top. It doesn't smell insanely hot. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, some of these smell very, very strong and they are brutal. Uh, like that ghost pepper that I grew, the first one I tried. That thing, when I cut it open, the room smelled. This thing here, it, it has a hot smell, obviously. Uh, I'm going to save some seeds. But, um, you know, it's, it's it, I, just from smelling it, I wouldn't say that I'd expect this to be as hot as a reaper or a scorpion or, or even a ghost pepper. Um, you know, that's my very limited experience, though. So, you know, it's not like I've been eating pods like this for a hundred years. I just started to take them on for fun because that's what the champ does. But uh, what I have learned is usually the more potent ones, um, you know, usually they, they have a, a really strong smell and they usually burn like crazy. But uh, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, you know, it's obviously smells like a super hot, but, uh, you know, okay. So there we go. One last look inside. I ripped it right in half, why not? So there we are. She's, uh, you know, um, she's mean looking. She does smell mean when you get up close. I'll, I'll say that. All right, well, here we go. This is the Leviathan Gnarled Scorpion, and it is one gnarly looking pepper grown by Justin White. Like, share, and subscribe. Go Canelo. Mm hmm. Right away, it's hot. Like, right away. Okay. It's um it's not floral. It's kind of fruity. Doesn't taste like a ghost, doesn't taste like a reaper. But now it's getting hot. Oh my god. Yeah, that one right away when I started chewing it. Like most peppers, you can tell it's hot. But it was like a stinging hot right away. And where the juices first kind of hit my tongue at the front, it feels like it left a lying of acid burn. If that makes any sense. But now we're getting into it. Obviously the pepper's been down now for probably 30 seconds. And it's starting to burn. Yeah, I've got a good mouth burn going on. I have been eating a lot of Reapers lately, like a ton. And uh, I don't know if that's built my tolerance up a lot, but for the last couple of months, I've been eating ghost peppers every week, all week. And um, probably for the last four weeks or so, I've been adding Reapers into the mix. So I think I've definitely built a tolerance up to, to the higher, uh, hotter peppers. And as time goes by here, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's climbing anymore. What I liked about that pepper is it was not floral. I've been lucky, and most of them haven't been so far. Um, it wasn't as tasty as my Trinidad Viper X uh, Boot Cross. Those I couldn't describe at first, but uh, they're tasty, and they're good on burgers. They're good on pizza. This uh, this is kind of fruity. It's not a uh, real strong fruity flavor, but it uh, you know it's it's not a bad tasting pepper, and the heat is good. 
the heat is good. It's uh, it, instead of being intense on my tongue now, it's spreading to the back of my mouth and into my throat. I got a little bit on my lips. Um, I'm sweating a bit, but uh, definitely not as bad as I feared. I expected this to be intense, but it's a good pepper. Definitely one you could cook with. You can make good sauces with it. Uh, the flavor is not dominating, so you can mix it with other things. Oh, I am having a hard time talking a little bit. Sweat's picking up. I always say the mouth burn probably peaked around two, and now it's moved into the throat at about like a one, one and a half. Yeah. Well, that's that. That's the Leviathan gnarled scorpion pepper grown by Justin White. And that was good. Thanks, Drew and Steve, for giving me that. I'm looking forward to trying the other three peppers. I'm going to do a review on each of them. And we'll see how crazy those ones get. But in the meantime, subscribe. Check out last week's video. And check out this video. Because you know I'll be back next week with the next pepper those guys gave me. And we're going to see how that one goes.